Hey, hey Collision, Collision Fam. Fam. What's good, what's good, what's good? It's all good. I'm good. Are you good? Could be better. It could be with my Collision Fam right now. I could. But well, I'll well, at least soon. we got somehow a way to connect. A way to connect. Exactly. Mm-hmm. YouTube. I hope you guys are actually watching this, right? Live. Live. Hi, guys. It's that time of the year again. No, we're not talking about Christmas. We're not. We're talking about that point towards the end of the year where we get to reflect and look back. On all the things we've been through, all the things we've accomplished, all the down times, all the good times. Um, we want to celebrate this new year that's coming up with you guys. And we just want to hear how it's been for you um, and just reflect and look forward into this next year. Yeah, I think we all have been through a lot as individuals and as a group. But going through experiences make us have some certain memories regarding to certain things. Yeah, they create a certain gratitude as well. Looking back, you can have a certain amount of gratitude towards what the Lord has carried you through, moments you've been through, the laughter, the jokes, all the things you've learned. So we want to look through, we want to look back through all these things with you guys today. So I know there's so many things we could say about Collision and we could talk and talk all day about how much we love it. But because of the little time restraint we have, we're going to just get three words from you guys that describe Collision or what means to you. So three words, three main words. So I think we can go first. We can go first. I, I can go first. I can start. Yeah. It. So you're gonna put there, put your your put words your down answers in, the in our live chat. Okay. Put your words in our live chat right now. I want to see what you guys think about collision. I'll start with three words that come to my mind when I think about collision. So my first word is not actually only uh, only one word, but two hyphen words. Is that a word? It's a dash, it's a hyphen, it counts as one. It counts count. as one. So I would say that collision is eye opening. Just being there and seeing other people going through a bunch of stuff and just seeing their lives transform. Just see, listening to different perspectives, people that are experiencing God in different ways, open my eyes to so many things. So I would say eye opening. I would say refreshing because it's freaking Friday, right? Like you worked all week, you yeah. study all week, you're tired. Then you go there on Friday night, super tired, but you leave that place just like renewed, refreshed. And on um, welcoming. I feel really welcomed. I feel like it's more than just a, a, a friends. It's more than just a, a people in a place. I feel like we really are a family. So these are my uh, three words. Eye-opening, refreshing, and welcoming. Those are three great ways to describe it. I mean, the beautiful thing about this little icebreaker is that everyone's going to have different answers, right? Everyone has different experiences at this group. Collision is such a diverse and unique um, way that we connect with each other. Um, so I'm excited to see what you guys have to say. Me too, um, me too. My three words. Um, I say the first word that comes to mind is fun. Every time I see Collision, everyone's laughing, everyone's smiling. The That's first so thing true. we do before we start service, we always have an icebreaker, a game, games. some sort of game. Everyone's screaming, ah having crazy fun um and for me like she said it's the end of the week i just worked all week i'm tired then you guys always bring that energy i could say energetic as well but i'm just gonna say fun keep it simple so you guys are fun so the second word i described collision with is family a hundred percent i think i found a family here um and the thing that's crazy about collision is that you have ages from like my little sister is like 12 and then you have people all the way up to like mid-20s and we all get along the same. Um, we all have this great relationship with each other. Yeah. Um, and like, I think that's that's really telling because it breaks so many barriers. Usually like, people can't get out of this little age group barrier. Like if someone's too young or too old and you can't really connect with them and it's so different at collision, we can all connect. Um, and it's kind of a place of family, a place of belonging, um, to experience God together, experience certain things together, experience fun fellowship so many things things for the family and the last word i say to describe collision and it's a big one also a hyphenated double slash single word i mean it comes, it comes. <laughs> i'll say life-changing um i think just there's so many proof of people in our group um who came from from places where god just brought them out and used collision as a place to, uh, to belong and a place to fit in not just to fit in but to really belong and to start living what the lord had for them um, and you can see a complete shift in, in their walk with God and 
uh, with so many things, myself included, just having a family and people that you can relate to. Um, yeah, but we live in the world uh, for the most of the time that we spend our time we're in the world. So we're at work, we're at school, we're in these environments where the Lord is not really as present as it is yeah. at church. Um, when, when we come on Fridays, it's so good because we have people at our age um, who are so passionate and, and strongly believe in the same things that I do and that we do. So it's, I think it's so important. And these things have been life changing for myself and I know it has been for so many others. So yeah, life changing, fun and family. These are these are great words. Yes. I love it. I love it, and I agree. And I agree with what you said. Uh, well, some other people have some stuff, some words to say as well, and I'm excited to hear. What about you? I'm so excited. Can't wait to hear what you guys have to say. Guys, bring it on. Let's do it. So when I think about collegium, like the three words that come to my mind is love, happiness, family. The three words that come to mind when I think of collision are enjoyable, gratifying, and fellowship. Wow, those words are amazing. It's so nice to see that one ministry has different impacts in different mm -hmm. people, right? That everyone is going is experiencing the same thing on Fridays, but in different ways. Yeah. I just love that. I love that. Mm -hmm. It was great to see you guys' answers. Just like I said, so diverse. I knew there was going to be a plenty of different answers. You guys are all unique and different in your own ways. Um, and yeah, it was just great to see that. And before we jump into more fun and more testimonies, uh, we're walking into a new year, right? And as we're walking into a new year, some stuff has to, has to change. We have to let go of some stuff. We have to hold on to new attitudes. I mean, each year you get older, you need to change, you need to mature. And I think it's important to hold on to some advices for that, right? Of course. I think just learning uh, life is such a big test. Yeah. Like that's what I've always been told. Life is always a test. No matter what stage you're at, you're always going to be learning something. Um, and it's always good to have people in your life that you can go to for advice. People that have been through things that you haven't walked through yet that can help you avoid these little things that you might go through in the future. So we have a special guest. Um, you may know him, may know him as pastor, you may know him as friend, you may know him as Nigga. spiritual father, and, uh, I don't know, <laughs> <laughs> but we're going to bring in Pastor Louise tonight um, to give you guys a little word of encouragement, um, some things that will just add to your life, help you to go into this new year prepared and ready to live for the Lord. Hello, hello, Collision family, I'm so happy to be here. All you know that we have a new year on the corner, and I believe in my heart that our God has to do a lot of things in our lives, in your life. And uh, I want to share with you uh, three things, three principles that will help you to achieve all things that God has for your life. I believe that if you put in practice these three things in your life, I am sure that you experience new things from God's presence. Do you believe in this? Come with me and take note of this point here. First of all, develop intimacy with God. Develop intimacy with God. And why, Pastor? Because He has in His heart all things that He wants to know, that you, that you need to achieve your goals and success and then in this new coming year. And secondly, spend time reading the words of God. Because in the Word of God, we find all directions for our spiritual life, emotional life and financial life as well spend time reading the word of god and in the third place in the third place organize your life define your goals and uh, stay focused organize your life and define your goals and stay focused this way i think this new coming year will be a, a year of success in your life and you experience new things from God's presence in your life in many areas in the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you so much. Those were precious uh, steps to follow and I'm sure that if we do follow them faithfully, uh, we're going to see changes in our lives. Let's see, let's see if you guys remember. Do you remember? I remember first thing, intimacy with God. Intimacy with God. Do you want my second thing? Though? Second thing, read your Bible. 
Making it simple, spend time in the read word. your Bible, spend time in the Word. I think that's important because if we say we're Christians, then what else is going to guide our way? Yeah. All right? What else is going to... What else is there to guide our path? If we don't, if we don't let the Bible dictate our attitudes, the world will, and we don't want that. That's the GPS, you know. Um, and the third thing, which is very important, I've been learning. This girl, she's very organized. <laughs> Me, I'm not so organized, but you know, trying to get there. Organize your life, stay focused. Um, I think this is so important, especially for those who are like getting almost like past that high school level. I think if you learn that before you leave high school, guys, mm-hmm. it's gonna help so much. Because yeah. like, you think you have time and you can spend it on things you don't really need to spend it on. But if you're organized and you're focused, then no time will be wasted because That's, you know exactly where yeah. you want to put your That's energy good. to, where you want to put your time to and your effort. Um, even not just with the things of God, but just with your goals and ambitions and um, your skills, all the things you wish to do and accomplish. Being organized and staying focused is just very key in like so many aspects. And the Lord will actually honor the fact that you are organized and yes. you value your time. The Lord always talks about being a good steward, um, steward with your money, steward with your time, um, valuing the things that he's given you. Yeah. Um, and I think this is one way to value what God has placed inside of you is being organized and staying focused um, and not despising what he's given you by being lazy or slack um, or putting your effort and time towards things that don't matter. So I think that was a great word from Pastor. Um, and I hope you guys took something from yeah. that. Take notes, please. Yeah. Screen yeah. record it. Look <laughs> back over it. Yeah. Amen. That was so good. It was really good. Thank you, Dad. Thank you. We have great expectations for 2022, but we cannot disregard what God has done in 2021. He has done much in my life. He has done much in your life. And He has done a lot. A lot of and things change, don't they? A lot of things change. A lot of things change, mm. don't they? Don't they? Mm. <laughs> We're uh, going to hear from a couple of people tonight um, that God's just been doing great things in their lives. Um, people who have recently joined the group, people who have been here for a little bit as well. But they're just going to share some testimonies of what the Lord's been doing in their life over the past year. Um, and things that they've taken from Collision and things they've learned. I mean, how Collision has impacted their lives. So, guys, please pay attention. Don't run away. Don't go to the bathroom. Don't go grab a snack. You pay should attention. have your snack ready right Stay right tuned now. for this because it's going to be special. And it's always good to hear testimonies. It's a way to build your faith. It's a way to really learn um, from people that go through things that are similar yeah. to you. Also, please take heed, pay attention, don't go away for this part. Hi everyone, um, my name is Sandra and I'm just going to be talking about my experiences, well, experience with the Collision Ministry. Anyways, so I've been coming here um, since the last week of September. Like, I just remember like when I first came here, like everyone was so open, so welcoming, and it was just so great to see because you don't like see that type of like i guess welcoming thing nowadays like especially during this generation everyone's so like so like in their own bubbles you know but it was just great to see um throughout these like nights the lord has just been talking to me about who he is and like who i am who he's called me to be and just reminding me like to always seek him to always put him first to always like to continue what could like to continue and grow in him every single day like and not lean on my own understanding you know and just trusting how faithful he is like not only in collision but like just in general the lord has been talking to me about that and he's been speaking to me to all the youth events i've been going to and it's just so amazing to see and during like collision we do these like small group talk things which is like so good and we get to talk about others like walk with the lord and just to get to see and get to know everyone and to help and encourage each other um with the word of god and yeah it's just so amazing and last week um i recently like um, not recent what did i say anyways last week I, i helped out with the worship team and it was just so amazing because it was like my first time wanting to do something like that like old me old sandra who didn't have christ wouldn't would like would never would never do that like she would be so like no no do not call my name do not call me out i'm not going there like but this is like so different because it's something for the lord and it's just so amazing like the lord is so good 
yeah so overall that's my experience with collision and how the lord has been working with me okay bye guys god bless you all have a great evening bye bye I'm trying to record that 30 minutes already. I'm here 30 minutes trying to record. Record. My back is hurting already to stay on that position. And why is recording so hard? I'm literally alone here and I just can't, I just can't. I just think all the time it's bad. So let's start again, let's start again. Uh, what's up collision people? I'm Guilherme Viana and we were asked to do like a testimony. We were asked to share our testimonies, how collision helped us what collision did to our lives. So I want to start saying that collision was insane to me. Collision was like a huge thing in my life. Back in Brazil, I used to know God, but like, you know, when you get used to the relationship, you just like pray and whatever. That was me in Brazil. I used to pray all the time before sleep. Get used to it. You just, just pray like whatever. That was me. Uh, sometimes I, I even like slept in the middle of the praying and he was bad, he was bad. That was me back in Brazil. And I used to have friends in Brazil too, in, in school and stuff. But you know when when they are with you at school, they, they stay with you in school. But when you need them for real, when you need like their help, they're not there for you. That was the people I had in Brazil. That was the, that was my friends in Brazil. So what Collision did, Collision gave me a family. Collision, Collision gave me a purpose, Collision, Collision helped me, helped me to have a better relationship with God. Collision was insane, insane. All these things, like, was added to my life because of collision. Now I have you people. Now I have um, people to count on. Now I have, I have a family. I have people who I love. And I just want to say I love you, God. I love you all. Even not a community church. I got baptized here. Like... I just want to say thank you guys like that's my testimony really it has to be fast so that's what i have to share i just i just want to say that actually that collision was insane to me uh collision helped me to keep going uh so yeah thank you guys hi my name is crystal and i'm just going to talk about my experience with collision i shared it a couple of weeks ago it's not been two months i think um, and I remember my first time being there like it was yesterday and the first time I was there we were talking about faith and um, it really moved me because I felt like at that period I had just like started my journey with God and from that moment I knew that he wanted to talk he wanted me to work on my faith every week there's always something new that we talk about there's always something new to be shared and um, I think recently we started like separating ourselves into groups and actually we're given a topic and we are able to share among us what each individual thinks of that topic, right? And sometimes in most of us, it's just like just the Holy Spirit just flowing out of us. And um, it's great to see how God is able to use each and every one of us to reach each other, to share each other's thoughts, share each other's minds, because we all interpret the Bible in a different way, right? But when it all comes together, it all means one and the same thing. So um, I love, absolutely love being there. It took me just one time for me to get in there every week. So I would encourage anyone, really, that if you have that curiosity to know God more, this is definitely the place for you because you meet people from all ages, from teenagers all the way to um, new adults and everyone has their own different experience, right? So um, I'm so happy to have met these people, to be there and um, pray with them and learn with them. And because um, like I said, I just got saved like a month and a half it's not been two months yet and my journey with God has been fast so I'm happy to have met people who are helping me keep up the pace so yeah have a good night guys hi I'm Isabella and I came from Brazil one year ago in a few months and I came here to Canada uh, with no friends 
So it was really hard to me on the, be on the beginning because in Brazil I was used to have many friends. I was used to to be kind of that girl that know that knows everybody, you know. And when I got here, I didn't know anyone. It was really hard. Uh, and then after two months and a half, I met people from Collision and I started to go to Collision. My connection with God uh, started to be deeper. It was deeper connection because I was learning about the Word of God. I was being part of a group of people that share the same value of you. In Brazil, I had many friends, but they were not from the church. I used to go to church every Sunday, but I didn't go to the youth meeting. And I had some, some friends on the church, but they were not close to me. My close friends were not from the church, so they didn't share the same values. They didn't believe in the same thing that I believe in. So imagine how hard it is. And when you are with people that don't share the same thing, it's hard and they influence you for sure. People of the world, they influence you a lot. And uh, I was influencing for these people for sure. Even if I was to, the, if I was going to church every Sunday, if I had a, a connection with God, if I, if, I, if I used to read the Bible, you know? Uh, and then I came to Canada. I met people from Collision and started to go to Collision. Collision brought me a lot of knowledge about God, a lot of knowledge about the Bible. This made uh, me uh, to create a deeper connection with God, you know? That connection, you know? A connection that I have never had before. And it was amazing, you know? Uh, collision brought me close to God and made me uh, to make friends in a place, in a country that I didn't know anyone, you know? So, Collision is amazing. I'm speechless about Collision. Collision marked my life, you know? There was a Isabella before Collision and after. So, yeah, it is what it is. Love you, Collision. Love you, Collision. So, basically, Rebecca just texted me this morning. She asked me if I could just do a short video to talk about a little bit what collision has been like how impactful it has been in my life so i've been thinking about it and uh, i just wanted to like this came up in my mind about unity um like how like when i think of ottawa community church when i think of collision how that brings the sense of unity to my heart and i just feel that's something that it's not really available today. It's not something that you can easily find today because just how things are, right? So I feel that this unity sense that the group has just impacting my life in a way that it encourages me. Like when I think about Friday night collision time, right? At least when I can go when I'm not working, but when I like, I think of it and I'm just excited to go there. Um, because I know that we're being the body of Christ and like we're just trying to follow Christ as a group and I feel that just brings us really close and that just like bonds us really strongly together and that really encourages me because that's a command like be united as one with Christ as you're like the head of the body so that's just really encouraging, encouraging for me because that's just beautiful. Like, it's just so much joy in the group and so much, like, it's just hype, you know? Like, I go to Collision, I'm like, bro, that's so cool, let's let's go. Let's just hang out random places. Let's just go to crazy adventures and do whatever. It just inspires me. And I feel that gives me gas to go through the week and it gives me inspiration and reminds me a little bit of the character of God. So I think that's, that's it, yeah. Hello Collision, Sam here. So uh, it's that time of the year where we uh, think about everything that's happened um, in the years and everything that uh, um, where we started and where we are right now. And I believe that something that was really part of my life um, is Collision. And I'm very, uh, very grateful um, to, to this group. Um, it really helped me go through uh, um, my obstacles and all of that. So what does Collision represent to me, um, first of all, it represents 
communion. So it's really this、um, sharing of similar thoughts, this、uh, sharing of、uh, similar ways of thinking, and knowing that you get on, you get there on a Friday night, and that there's a bunch of people who have similar.、Uh, Problems in their lives, not necessarily problems, but like similar obstacles. You know, like as a Christian, and everyone is trying to、um, sp- grow spiritually. I think that's amazing, and it makes me feel good. You know, so、uh, also something that Collision represents to me is the support. So this year for me was a year of a lot of change. I'm not living in my parents' house anymore. I I moved and. Um, so many things happen, but it was great to know that I had support somewhere. So although I haven't been going a lot recently, as I, it's I'm not living in the same place anymore.、Um, this this the stress that I had that was gonna move and all of that. It really、um, it really de- lowered when I went to 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 collision. So yeah, I hope you guys have a great end of the year and a great 2022. Take care. Wow, those testimonies were powerful. It's so nice to know that people around us are going through、uh, amazing things, right? We don't have to turn the TV on or YouTube on to see God working. God is working around us. God is working our friends' lives, and I find that so so encouraging and amazing. Thank you guys for sharing and for being so vulnerable and,、uh, with your story, with your testimony, and with what God's doing in your life. Man, that was so good, guys. We appreciate you.、Um, I just can't wait to hear next year's testimonies and the new people、yeah. that will share and will be vulnerable because they've seen someone do it this year. So、yeah. we appreciate that very much, guys. Yes. Okay, guys. So the next part of this service, we have two very special guests, two familiar faces. I miss them. I miss them too. But very two familiar faces, but they haven't been so familiar in the past、um, <laughs> three weeks. Um, but Kalevi and Kumail are sending all their love.、Uh, they're living it up in Brazil in the summer. <laughs> summer where there's no snow, where there's no yeah, cleaning your car. There's、tired. palm trees and beaches and great and food acai. everywhere you look. But anyways, they're sending all their love back to their family because this is their family. They love you guys. Don't worry, they're not leaving forever. <laughs>、um, but they have a very special message to send you guys.、Uh, just some words of encouragement. I'm sure they're gonna mention how much they miss you,、um, and just like some things that have been on their heart that they're gonna share with us tonight. Let's hear it from them.、Um, hello, Collision. Yeah. So, bro, say your name. I'm Caleb, and I'm Kemo, and、uh, we're from Collision. Yes. <clears throat> and、uh, we just wanna give you guys an update of how the trip's going. Yeah, because right now we're in Brazil.、Uh, to be very specific,、okay. we are. We are in、uh, we are in Florianópolis, and、uh, to be honest with you, yeah, we're having a lot of fun here. It's we, like、yeah. very hot.、Uh, we've been going to the beach, guys. Yeah, doing,、like, we've been going to the、things. pool.、Um, yeah, like we are just enjoying life. Yeah, because you know it's Brazil having acai almost every day. Ah、uh, man, acai in a.、Uh, And、oh. Pastor John, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, right now he's here. We are staying his the, place. His place, yeah. yeah. They have the best、uh, family ever. They are amazing. Best, they are, be- yeah. They are they are hosting us, and、yeah. uh, we've been having like such a great time with them here.、Um, we we are being able to help the church as well. Kimwell play with them.、Um, yeah. We've been doing some stuff for the church here,、uh, and it's just amazing, right, to be able to serve. Uh, the church, the local church,、um, but we we really miss you guys. Yeah,、we、I was really, gonna really, say that, bro, because you know, even though we've been doing like a bunch of crazy stuff, a bunch of nice stuff, and even though we've been meeting a lot of new people, yeah, yeah, we've been meeting new people, making new yeah, friends, some, yeah.、Um, <laughs> but there's a little thing, <laughs> but you know? we'll never forget. Yeah, we'll never forget. You guys always, you know, like we always be in our hearts.、Um, we we share with、uh, with the church here. We share with them. Uh, what we've been living in Canada,、yeah. how how collision is going, how、uh, how how's the church going, and、uh, we really miss you guys. Yes, like I mean, every every Friday we're doing something like something different, but no, the little. 
thing my heart is like oh yeah, I, I wish i like, could be there yeah, with them because yeah, you know. guys have been posting like nice stuff and i see that uh, our group is growing as well and this is so nice but you know, every Friday I'm just like, oh, I wish you it could be like, there. It feels like there's something missing, right? Part like, yes. We we do a lot of stuff here every single day, uh, a lot of nice stuff. Uh -huh. uh, but every Friday and, and Sundays as well, it feels like there's something missing. You know, yeah, I exactly. miss being being home, being at the church, being with being you guys. With you guys, even though we're enjoying so much here in Brazil, uh, we still uh, miss miss you guys. Yes, and uh, I'm pretty sure that you guys miss us more than we miss you. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I mean, at least me, not me. Anyways, uh, and that's that's pretty much that's it. it. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Um, Brazil is uh, amazing. Follow. Yeah, oh, yeah, and also, yeah. Um, uh, if you guys want to uh, check the local church that we that we are helping here, we're serving, uh, you guys can follow them at Instagram, uh, at their Instagram. It's a uh, house Floripa. So uh, just, I think Rebecca can put it on the yeah. screen. Um, they are an awesome family, an awesome church as well. And uh, they are just like us, you know, they were sent to Florianopolis to start a church. Uh, so Pastor John and his family, Joshua, Jonathan, and then Pastor Adriana, they are all um, helping at the church and serving at the church. Um, and they are amazing. They are really, really nice. And uh, I think that's a goodbye for now. Yes. But we're going to see you guys in soon. a few weeks. Very, very yes. soon. Me and Kim will be back on the 22nd. So if you guys want to do something on the 23rd, uh, we we're going to be there. And um, Just waiting for, you know, like, hey, let's hang out or something like that. Yes. You know, whatever. But, yes. But, um, that's it, guys. Um, that's Thank you so much, guys. We miss you. I miss you guys, my niggas. Our divas. My brothers. I miss y'all. Thank you so much for that message. Um, and I just, yo, I want to just throw some appreciation up for our leaders. Because as you know, Kamal and Kalevi are two integral parts of this group and help it run very well. So we appreciate you guys. I also want to show love to this one who's just, I see her work tirelessly for you guys. She loves you guys so much. Um, and I hope you guys appreciate her and show her the love. Send send some hearts in the comments if you if you appreciate your leader and your <laughs> leaders. Amen. <laughs> some of us are lucky and have got a bunch of these in our lives. Some of us have never ever ever gotten anything out of a giveaway. Okay? But we're having a giveaway tonight and there's someone that is going to sleep with a smile on their face. I mean, I hope everyone's going to bed yeah. with a smile on their face because like there's there's lots of reasons to be happy, grateful, and joyful, right? But there's one person here tonight that is gonna get 25 bucks from Off for God. Off for God. And, and it's that clothing brand that you see all over the net and they taking over the city but doing it for Jesus. Okay. But y'all can get your, your drip, you know Sandra. Sandra, Sandra and Sally, Sally you guys be always, always wearing it every week. Oh, Sarah and Candela too. They have like oh, yeah, every yeah, color. Yeah. But yeah, so I mean, we some of us as a group, we pay our homage to all for God. We love them. We, we love, love this them. stuff. And we hope that one of you guys can get your hands on something tonight. We're so excited to announce tonight's winner. Can we get a drum roll, please? Congratulations! You deserve it. I hope you make. I not only hope. I know you will make good use of your voucher. We love all for God, the stuff they're doing, and how they're spreading the message in a really subtle and fashion way. And don't forget the three collision stickers. Yes. What? Just those are like, those are so dope. <laughs> Anyways, guys, we better see you rocking that shirt sometime soon. Hopefully at the Christmas party. Christmas party? Did you say Christmas party? I said Christmas. When's the Christmas party again? Christmas party is next Friday on the 17th of oh. December, baby. You better show up. You, you better, better show there. up. Better see that. You better all see that for God, God at the place. Exactly. On, 500 by private. At 8 p.m. Okay, I'll see you at the church rocking those Christmas fancy clothes. Okay, I cannot, I cannot wait for this party. Uh -huh. They're yes. not ready for this party. I hope they're ready for it because it's going to be fun. There's going to be food, fun, games, Fuego. gifts, good style, good clothes. All for God. And don't forget the music. Yeah, I know you guys like your music and you guys better show up and dance. Have yeah. a good time. Yeah. I can't In wait. a holy fashion. 
<laughs> hey. Christian gospel week. <laughs> hey, sanctified partying. That's what we like to call it. That's right. All for yes. God partying. Amen. 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 Hi guys, so obviously we've been through so much this year as a group, as individuals. We've learned a lot, went through things maybe we wish we didn't, but God has been faithful through it all. Um, I mean, you kind of want to reflect. It's always good at the end of the year to reflect um, before you go into the next year and what you learned, what you've been through, uh, things you want to take with you into 2022, things you want to leave in 2021. Um, and we want to ask a question tonight. Um, it's going to be answered by a select few people and you guys are going to hear their answers tonight. But we also like, if you want to share, put it in the comments, put it in the chat. We'd like to hear from you guys. If not, uh, just use it as personal reflection. Uh, think about it to yourself. But the question for tonight is, what is one thing that you've been through up this year um, that you've learned and that you wish you would have known at the start of the year? Hey, I'll repeat it one more time. What is one thing that you learned throughout this year? that you wish you would have known at the beginning of the year that you maybe could have avoided it, okay? I want to hear your answers tonight and we're going to hear from a couple of people. Stay tuned, guys. Um, something that I have learned that I wish I had known in the beginning of the year and I believe that it's how to trust people, how to rely on, on people and on, I could even say family, right? And um, this, this, this is something that I wish I had known in the beginning because um, I realized that I can't do all of this by myself. I can't go through my difficulties by myself, but it's great to know that there's people there willing to help. And uh, it's really something that right now, right now I understand and right now I'm applying my life. So yeah. Those answers were amazing. I think that to me, one of the things I've learned that it would be really valid to be to know from the beginning of the year is just like to really have that heavenly perspective in this regarding the circumstances you're going through just letting heaven determine who you are uh, as you go through chaotic times how your heart's gonna be as you go through chaotic times just letting God and heaven determine that not the world not your circumstances not the situation you you find yourself in but I'm glad I've learned this lesson and then i'll be able to apply for this coming year yeah, this that's coming so year. no i think something similar that i'd have to say as well um is it just focusing on what the lord thinks about you um and what the lord has to say about you rather than what what, what people may think what people may say or even what you may get into your own head sometimes um and i think the lord just put me in positions and moments this year where i thought maybe he had forgotten about me or you know we never think God's literally forgotten about us but there's those moments where you, you haven't heard from him in, him in a while and everything's just going wrong but then the Lord would just reassure me and just give me these words of affirmation and just um kind of just reconnect me to him but he he'd tell me things and tell me things that like brought back this uh sense of self and the sense of identity in him um so when when new trials would come I just remember um what the Lord said, instead of thinking of what people thought or what I may have thought of myself, it was always good to go back and be like, no, the Lord told me this a couple yeah, months ago. Um, I'm not going to go back to this because I know what the Lord thinks. I know what the Lord says. Um, and I think that's one thing I maybe wish I would have learned because you get so caught up in your own idea um, and you could sit in despair and sit in uh, uncertainty and fear for months. Um, and all it takes is one word from the Lord to change everything. Yeah. So I think once that word came, it was just so easy for me uh, in the next area of chaos to be like, okay, I'm fine. The Lord said this, um, I can get through it. So I think that's, that's one thing I've learned. But yeah, heavenly perspective, hearing from the Lord, um, pretty similar answers, but I'd love to hear some more answers from you guys. Put it down in the chat. What a journey it's been. And a verse that comes to my mind is Psalms 126, three. And it says, the Lord has done great things for us, therefore we are glad. It's kind of like a basic quotation. But I feel like this really applies to this year. This really applies to what Collision has meant to me. The Lord did it all, you know. It's it's on the Lord. Glory be to God. He's been the reason uh, we could... He was the reason we could rejoice in so many of these moments. He's the reason we are together as a church. He's the reason we have this beautiful family called Collision and I couldn't be happier with this. Yeah, we love you guys so much. Thank you for joining us tonight. Um, 
I'm just gonna close this out in prayer. Um, you guys don't have to bow your heads or close your eyes, but just take this moment um, to kind of close out this final type of service for the year in prayer. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father, for this time that we've had tonight. Um, we thank you for the year that you brought us through um, and the things that you allowed us to learn. Thank you for the people who found a family in collision. Thank you for the people who found a purpose in, in life, Lord God, and have been removed from so many dark places. Um, and for just bringing new life into so many lives, Lord God. I thank you, Lord God, for each and every person that's um, on this uh, this live stream right now, all these people that are tuning in, all the people who will show up to our next service. And I pray that you would just prepare their hearts for this new year, Lord God. Don't leave any of them behind. I know you won't. Um, you never have and you never will. You never forsake us. But Lord, I pray that you would just give us new ideas this year, new passion, a new fire for you, Lord God, a new passion and desire to live out what you have for us. Um, I pray that you would just be with us, Lord God, in this new year, um, and there would just be so many things to, to be excited about, um, and this group would grow and it would flourish, Lord God, and so many great things would happen through the lives of us, Lord God, that decide to pursue you with our whole hearts, and we thank you so much for all that you're doing. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Love you guys. Love you guys. See you. Merry Christmas. Happy, Happy New Year. Year. They're gonna be starting. Two, one, go. I think it's better than being 